Welcome to the HR Chat Show, one of the world's most downloaded and shared podcasts designed for HR pros, talent execs, tech enthusiasts, and business leaders. For hundreds more episodes and what's new in the world of work, subscribe to the show, follow us on social media, and visit hrgazette.com. Welcome to another episode of the HR Chat Show. I'm your host today, Bill Badham. And the focus of this episode is your admin staff tapping HR's golden natural resource. Listen as we consider such issues as how will redefining admin's role create a new pipeline of talent? How can HR and admin staff work together in the new world of work? And what challenges can admin and HR staff better tackle together? My guest today is Natalie Massey. Operations Coordinator of the Space Exploration Centre at John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Natalie provides oversight and analysis of operations and prioritises the day-to-day operations. She will also be speaking at the upcoming Sherm Talent Conference later this month. Hey Natalie, welcome to the HR Chat Show. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Beyond my introduction there, Natalie, why don't you start by taking a minute or two and telling our listeners a bit more about you and what you get up to. Great. Thank you. And thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to uh, introduce myself and to your listeners. Hello. Um, just a quick you know, snapshot is, you know, I'm coming off, uh, Bill, of a 25-year career in the federal government with NASA, which I'm incredibly proud of. And uh, it has been a lot of many of my experiences in the executive assistant uh, world. Uh, my current position, as you stated, is a co- uh, operations coordinator at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab in Lowell, Maryland. And that opportunity gives me a chance to partner with the space exploration sector and its leadership team on operational processes, communications, project management, and strategic planning. So it's a very holistic and broad um, arena of of capabilities. However, it's an integral role to the leadership team. Thanks for tuning in to the HR Chat Podcast. If you're enjoying this episode, we'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a five-star review on your podcast platform of choice. And now, back to the conversation. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you love the most about your job? I really love working with people and getting a chance to work with a diverse set of experiences and thoughts and ideas is the bread to my butter or the butter to my bread. It really is refining and it's encouraging to get a chance to sit at the table and uh, be a part of very thought provoking discussions and strategy and formulation and implementation. It is uh, exciting and thrilling to also come off a long federal government career where I'm able to integrate a lot of those experiences into uh, now being a federal contractor and uh, having those type of experiences help to solidify um, how you know we can position ourselves at uh, APL or Applied Physics Lab um, to uh, stand out and, and uh, be a part of uh, addressing some critical challenges to the nation. As I mentioned in the intro, you will be presenting at the upcoming Sherm Talent Conference. And the session is called Your Admin Staff Tapping HR's Golden Natural Resource. Can you take a little bit of time now and tell our listeners a bit about that session and some of the hoped for learning outcomes? I'm really thrilled to be a part of this panel at the Sherm Talent Conference. Uh, that kicks off on April 15th through the 19th. And the session that I am co-presenting with Jim Link as well as Bonnie Lo Craman is really intended to reveal how administrative staff serve as the golden resources in, um, in air quotes, the new workplace. And the new workplace, you know, where they're able to have intrinsic skills in onboarding, hiring, training, emergency management, continuity management, 
um, you know, administrative uh, professionals are really linchpins to their organization. And, you know, the liaison role uh, has many facets uh, within the organization, which is inherent to that role. Um, and that includes partnering with HR professionals, which is maybe not as traditional as it had been. So really do, uh, delving into that topic and putting a spotlight on how that partnership requires a new foundation of trust. Um, the session is also uh, geared to explore tactical approaches to navigate that. Uh, we plan to discuss the evolution of the role, creating a bench depth, a pipeline of talent, and you know the notion that leveraging admins is really a new idea for this new workplace uh, where many HR professions may not have ever thought about resourcing admins in this capacity and in this way. So it's a really provocative topic, and I think it's really time uh, that we really unveil what that looks like. So why Sherm Talent, Natalie? What's the fit there? Why, why is that conference uh, one that you're particularly happy to be speaking at? Uh, so a couple reasons. I was invited uh, by Bonnie Lo Craman, who uh, has uh, really led the charge here in terms of uh, a release of a new book entitled Staff Matters, which really goes into, um, you know, putting again a spotlight on many topics that at, at some point, you know, in, in the workplace were either just, you know, not not discussed or Felt that they weren't needed at the time. Um, SHRM, you know, the Society for Human Resource Management is really on the cutting edge of uh, trying to drive, you know, just paradigm shifts and, and innovation. And I think marrying these two together with, you know, the, the, the notion of the new workplace and also you know, in light of all the HR professionals that will be in the room that have, you know, a lot of brilliant and innovative ideas of how to continue to move the needle forward is, is really, again, intriguing. And there's a lot of work to do, but it can certainly be done with these talented um, resources and, and, and uh, the workforce that will be there to be able to, to move the envelope forward. So I, I super appreciate getting your perspective today. As you can imagine, we often talk with HR leaders and HR pros, but specifically people on the on the admin side, we, we don't chat with them enough and, and we should do something about that, I'm sure. So um, just a few more questions for you. I'd like you get to get your crystal ball out now, if, if you don't mind. Um, okay. So just a bit of a, cont a continuation of uh, what we talked about a moment ago in relation to to the topic at the, the talent conference. Um, given given the the augmentation of roles today, given given the um, the onset of new technologies such as Chat GPT, for example, what does the admin professional role and job description as well perhaps look like? In the new workplace how is that changing really quickly what are some of those traditional admin duties which perhaps won't be there in a couple of years time and and what, what could be some of those new duties that will take their place yeah i you know i think it really is empowering um you know you look at the new job description or or the the thought or the notion of what the new admin professional role and description looks like and it's really an extension of the executive and an extension of the organizational objectives the missions the 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 goals um that he or she supports it's an influential leader um a partnership if you will and uh, really invoking that into the description and um, empowering that role to be much more of an extension. Um, and, you know, with respect to HR professionals, hiring managers can look at this role differently uh, because a lot of the administrative professionals today that are entering the industry are much more qualified than maybe they had been in the past. They're, they're really ready uh, to come to contribute with a strong skill set. Um, you look at talent acquisition, uh, administrative professionals should be partners with HR uh, because 
they oftentimes have the the key objectives. They own the process when it comes to candidate experience and, and it, it imparts reliability. Um, and then the last one I really want to foot stomp on is, is how administrative professionals serve as those ambassadors and champions of organizational culture. Um, they are oftentimes that first face of the organization that um, new hires or on boards or transfers you know, come to, to get to know. And so a tone is set. Uh, and that to me is also um, imparting continuity. It serves as an institution uh, with an innate sense of organizational norms. Okay, wonderful. And uh, just wondering, will you also be at the Sherm annual conference in Vegas later this year? That's the, that's the big, big one. Um, I'll, I'm hoping to be there myself when I get to meet you in person. I, you know, I will do my best to try and, and align my schedule accordingly. I think that would be, this is definitely a trailblazer for, for the uh, talent conference uh, in Florida in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I would love to put the cherry on top and be at the annual conference. So if I definitely am able to attend, I'll be sure to reach out. Okay, rock and roll. And Natalie, before we wrap up, this conversation today how can our listeners uh, connect with you and learn more about you oh thank you bill um so i am definitely on linkedin uh so of course look me up natalie massey um happy to connect i i feel that networking is understated and yes it would be lovely to really uh broaden that network and that reach um always happy to to do that and and um, again thank you for the opportunity again today bill Thank you. And listeners, don't fear uh, in case in case you don't know the URL for the talent conference. I'm pretty sure we'll have that in the in the show notes so you can find it there. Uh, Natalie, that just leaves me to say for today. Thank you very much for being my guest on this episode of the HR Chat Show. Thank you. And listeners, as always, until next time, happy working. Thanks for listening to the HR Chat Show. If you enjoyed this episode, why not subscribe and listen to some of the hundreds of episodes published by HR Gazette. And remember, for what's new in the world of work, subscribe to the show, follow us on social media, and visit hrgazette.com.